हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज योगेश योगेंद्र एंड वेलकम टू आवर चैनल कोड लाइब्रेरी सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू आवर चैनल देन सब्सक्राइब एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट द रेगुलर अपडेट्स सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम लेट्स स्टार्ट so today we are going to discuss the fifth question of labbar 450 question so what the fifth question says it says that move all the negative elements to one side of an array so it means that we will given an array of n elements and we have to shift all the negative elements to one side and positive elements to one side okay so we are going to do this question by using a partition algorithm which we do in quick shot so let's take an example we are going to take an array of six elements so let's take 3 minus 2 and 6 so we have taken six elements now what the algorithm says that let's take let's know what is the partition algorithm it means that we are going to take a pivot element and all and the when after this algorithm the pivot element will be there in a position where all the elements will be smaller than the pivot element will be shifted to the left side and all the elements which are greater than the pivot element will be there in the right side so as we have to shift all the negative elements to left side and positive elements to right side we are going to pivot element as zero so here we are going to take P whichever element which are smaller than zero will be there in the left side, and the elements which are greater than zero will come to the right side of the array. So here we are going to initialize i is equals to minus one. So we will run a loop from starting position till n. So here we are going to run a j loop. So and i is minus one and j is zero. so now we will going to check that if array of j is less than pivot or not so we will check that if array of j is less than 0 or not so here we can see that first the element is 3 we will compare 3 with 0 3 is less than 0 no it's false so we will increment so now our j will come here now we will compare minus 2 with 0 is minus 2 is less than 0 yeah it's true so what we will do we will increment i by 1 so now our i will become 0 and now we will swap a of i and a of j means we will swap array of i and array of j we are going to swap these elements so i is 0 and j is 1 so let's take here the j also currently j is 1 i is 0 so we are going to swap 0 and 1 so now our array will change to this so now your our array will change to this means minus 2 comes to first position and 3 to the second position now our increment our j and now j will come here now we will compare 5 with 0 is 5 is less than 0 false so we will increment our j loop and now j will come here now we will check whether the minus 4 is less than 0 or not the yeah it's true that minus 4 is less than 0 so now what i told we will increment 1 uh, i sorry i so we will increment i now in i will become 1 now we are going and now where is the j 0 1 2 3 it means j value is 3 now we will swap a of r1 and a of 3 so in a of 1 is 3 and a of j is minus 4 so we are going to swap 3 and minus 4 now we have swapped minus 4 and 3 so now our array look like minus 2 minus 4 5 3 1 6 now we will increment our loop and now j is at in this position now we will check whether 1 is greater than 0 or not so we will check whether 1 is sorry smaller than 0 or not so 1 is not smaller it's false now again we will increment our loop and now j will come to this position 
last position. Now we will compare 6 whether 6 is less than 0 or not. So we can see that it's false and now we will come out of the loop and we can see the result that after running this partition algorithm we are getting our result means neg all the negative elements are in the left side of an array and positive elements are in the right side of an element. So let's code it out. So we are going to take input n scene and we are going to take an array int array of n uh, we are going to take run a loop from 0 to n scene a of i so now we have taken a array of n elements now we are going to run a partition algorithm so we are going to take i is equals to minus 1 which i told you and we are going to run a loop point i let's take pivot element first so I am going to take a pivot element as 0 because we have to compare with all the elements which are smaller than 0 and greater than 0. So we are going to run a loop j equals to 0, j is less than n, j plus plus. Now here we will check whether array of j is less than pivot or not. So if it is less than pivot, we are going to increment i and now we are going to swap. So we are going to swap array of i comma array of j. Now after running this loop, we will come out of the loop. Now our array is arranged in negative, all the elements are negative elements are in the left side and positive elements are in the right side. Loop for i equal to 0, i is less than an i plus plus and now we are going to print our array and let's check what will be the output. So we have taken an input n equals to 6 and we have taken 6 elements. Now we are going to run our code and check what will be the output. So you can see that the, our output is minus 2 minus 4 5 3 1 6. It means that all the negative elements are in the left side and positive elements are shifted to the right side. Let's talk about the complexity. So the time complexity is order of n because we are running a loop only once and the space complexity as we are not taking any extra space so the space complexity is order of one hope you have understood the solution we have also uploaded the solutions of the previous questions also so you can visit our channel and get to the good get to those solutions so if you are new to our channel please subscribe and press the bell icon to get the regular updates so until then bye bye